Okay, so Jeremy, you've just rung the bell for the start of play on Saturday at Lords. How did it feel? Uh, I was very honoured and a bit chuffed, actually, to be invited. Uh, I've always been regarded a bit of a rapscallion uh, back in, uh, in the colonies. Uh, Hirsute, hair long, kept out of some teams because of, of some sorts of behaviour. But I'm now very pleased to be ba invited back into society, and I've made it at last. And you're watching the test match from up in the media centre. By the way, can I just yeah, interrupt you? Uh, and I rang it in a certain style. I hope you realise that. It was based on the Eroica, which is the third symphony by Beethoven. Da 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 da. Di, da, da, da. Which is, I think, I think, a, a, you know, a Morse code for V for victory. Hasn't gone so well so far, we've already lost a wicket while we're having this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> So you're watching the cricket um, from up in the media centre. Yes, I am. Yeah. So what do you? It's a fantastic place, that media centre. Cherie Blair's smile at <laughs> one end of the ground here. The height is great. Uh, it's when TMS have the only window in the entire face of that glass, and so when it does get a little hot, it can be quite pleasant. Uh, but but I think it, it, the whole ground is imbued with a sense of history, with a sense of uh, occasion and event. And uh, when I came here and played, it was slightly older, slightly more, dare I say, decrepit. But since it's been spruced up uh, and developed, I think it's a wonderful ground. I hope they don't make it too much larger, because I think there's a lovely atmosphere about Lords. Love it.